So Lindsay, where did you end up going to law school? So I went to law school at UNLV uh, Boyd School of Law, great school. Um, I applied some different places all around the country mm -hmm. and that was like my first experience applying to different places and I was really nervous about moving to a new city mm -hmm. and I think that 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 experience forced me to grow just moving to a new city in and of itself. Oh yeah. Um, highly recommend that for any person. I mean, I, I'm glad I did it as a graduate student versus an undergrad mm -hmm. in some regards, just cause I had a little bit more maturity mm -hmm. than a fresh 18 year old. I was a, a mature 20. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it, it was a, that was a growing experience mm -hmm. and, um, you know, pushed you out of your comfort zone. So there's that. Um, yeah. But it also offered in-state tuition because it's mm -hmm. still in the state of Nevada. And I got to experience Las Vegas as a Las Vegan or Vegan. I don't know. Las Vegas. <laughs> Las yeah, I always, I think, I don't, I yeah. don't know. But yeah, so it was really cool to see the different sides of Nevada mm -hmm. and Nevada is such a, a diverse, um, culturally and, um, in Clark County, different, different backgrounds, different mm -hmm. people. And it's really cool to see what the state as a whole to offer, like coming from, um, growing up in rural Nevada, mm -hmm. then going to the biggest little city, um, <laughs> which is great. I mean, I love Reno, mm -hmm. a lot of outdoors opportunities and an overall pretty good mindset. But Clark County and, and Vegas have it's it's entirely different. I mean, it's it, it runs on hospitality mm -hmm. and, and seeing that and being able to experience what the strip has to offer, whether it's restaurants and uh, different shows and things. Right. So that was really cool. So what was life like as a law student in Las Vegas? Um, it was fun. Um, there were some different fun, like social opportunities um, and different places on the strip, which was fun and unlike anything I had experienced. But I think just law school as a whole, you are um, in such a, a tight knit group. It's a smaller school. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know how it is for others, but the our section size was like 50 people, mm -hmm. I think. And and then there was so there was a second section of 50 and then there was the part time. Yeah, oh, I okay. think it was about 50. Nice. So um, I made some of my best friends from that. I mean, you're, you're with these people all the time you're mm -hmm. studying, you're going through the same thing. And so that was fun. And, and it was fun to just meet new people. Yeah. So there's kind of a, I don't know if you've heard the saying, but people are like, either you love law school and hate the legal career or you hate law school, but love the legal career. I'm sure there's a happy medium, but where would you fall on that? Um, I don't know. Like, so I, I did not like law school to the extent that it's, you know, the Socratic method mm -hmm. and that type of thing. But I, I love that I got to be around really smart people mm -hmm really cool people make a lot of friends. Um, and you know, I guess I got to learn how to think like a lawyer, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So I don't know. I, it depends when you ask me because right mm -hmm. now I love being a lawyer. Mm -hmm. If you would have asked me a couple years ago, I would say it would be that I hated being a lawyer and I loved to law school. <laughs> Um, so I mean, yeah, law school, law school was hard yeah. because the setup is a lot different than undergrad. I, I figured out the undergrad system 
and how to excel in that very quickly Mm -hmm. and very well. And I did not in law school. And I didn't know anyone who had gone to law school. Mm -hmm. I I wasn't close. I have an uncle who's an attorney Mm -hmm. um, and a cousin, actually. Um, But I didn't know, like, what what it was like, how to do well. Mm -hmm. And, and I, you know, I don't, I don't know how to get A pluses in every class in law school. Right. (laughs) And and part of that's because it was a curve. Right. Right. I was going to say, I don't think that's realistic, actually. Yes, it's not. And, but that part wasn't really explained. Like I had heard law school was graded on a curve. And I thought that that meant how it was in my college classes Mm -hmm. where we're graded on a curve, which means if the top grade in the class was a 96 on the test, then that is the 100 and everyone gets four points added. Right. It, that's not the law school curve. No, not at all. It's, the, the law school curve is very different. The law school curve is like the amount of A's in your class are limited by the curve. Right. So you've got a class of 50 people and there's a 10% curve or 20%, whatever it is. So you're only five people can get an A, right. only five. Even if everyone does A quality work, only five people can get the A. Right. Like, that that didn't compute in right. my brain. It's first. so different. It's so different. Yes, but, yes. So, yeah. so what advice would you give to people who are thinking about going to law school or they are starting law school soon? Um, I would advise them to work hard, um, study, but also take advantage of the social opportunities because you are going to make connections that are going to be there for the rest of your career, Mm -hmm. whether they're social, professional, um, you know, could lead to jobs down the, down the way, or just, it's nice to be able to call a friend Mm -hmm. or, you know, I, I get calls of my friends down in Vegas who have a case up here and they're like, how do, how does the second judicial district do this? And right. We do procedures differently. And yeah. having that connection is very valuable. Yeah. So yeah, study hard, but also take some time to make some friends. Nice. That's great advice. And while you were in law school, you took advantage of the study abroad program. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. So I, and I'm so glad I did. Um, the study abroad program was like a winter semester in India, um, Delhi area, and it was studying international human rights. And that was awesome. Um, I took out student loans to do it. And that's like one of the main student loans that I don't regret taking out. Right. Um, I mean, it was, it was just so cool to see how other people live their lives. Mm -hmm. And, um, just one of the things that we looked at was, um, issues with tenancy and landlords and, um, almost uninhabitable living conditions and, um, these landlords all kind of grouping together. So it's, I mean, it's not a monopoly. It's more of a like oligopoly uh, in amongst the landlords um, to keep their rents high so that these individuals spend most of their money towards rent and they can't really uh, climb the social ladder or the economic ladder because Mm -hmm. all of their money is going to this really high rent that's not even in some cases, meeting their basic needs. Wow. So it was, I mean, it was really interesting. Yeah. Very, you know, very interesting experience. I also got dysentery no while way. I was there and had to go to the hospital. Oh my gosh. Um, which was, you know. Um, the whole I, experience. I, <laughs> yes, I got the whole experience. Wow. Um, but I mean, that was, that was a kind of, a cool experience too because I got to see just different healthcare systems and the the price differentials between the U.S. healthcare and um and India yeah so 
And yeah. While you were there, where did you live? So the housing was like a, it was a hotel. Okay. Um, but it was like not a fancy hotel. It was just like a, a mid to low range, you know, long term um, type of place. And we were all there in, we were in Delhi, but a lot of our trips went outside of Delhi to this place called Haryana, okay. I think is how it's pronounced. Um, and then we also took a trip up to Agra and Jaipur okay. to see the Taj and experience some other temples and things. So very cool. We did some traveling. Yeah. And I also um, took a couple days before with uh, some of my friends who were on the trip and we went to Thailand. Nice. And yeah, I mean, we, we figured we're already going all the way there. It's just a couple hundred bucks mm -hmm. plane ticket to go to India from Thailand. So, um, we were able to do that and spend some time in Thailand. Nice. And then, um, afterwards I had a friend who was living in Taiwan and so I went over to Taiwan for a couple days and visited him and awesome. got to see Taiwan, which is an awesome country. Highly recommend anyone who's thinking about going. But, okay. Good to know. Yeah. Definitely add that to my list. Yeah. Yeah. That's no, great. it's Taiwan's really cool. So would you recommend um, trying to study abroad and during law school? Yes, absolutely. And I have some friends who did a study abroad over summer. And I think you did The Hague as well. Yes. Yeah. 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 So they they did The Hague. Um, and I didn't do that because I was um, I had an internship or something. I don't know. Right. Um, but I wish I would have studied abroad more because you you get so immersed in this other culture and that's such a big learning experience mm. and i mean that's you when you're working like we do as attorneys with cases with hearings mm -hmm. we don't have the opportunity to take a month or two months or three months to a foreign country right and i mean that's just not something that we can do mm -hmm. um we could take vacations we can take a week two weeks, but, um, so the ability to travel at that, that stage in your life is, is not going to be available. So take advantage of it. Yeah, I agree. Oh, hey there, you made it all the way to the end. Thanks so much for watching Lindsay's interview. If you're interested in learning more about Lindsay's law school experience, her experience as an attorney, or her first job, go ahead and check out her playlist. Thanks again for all your support. If you have a chance, please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.